Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 and a half of the PVM Hub. If you're unfamiliar with the series, these are a collection of beginner-friendly revolution guides aimed towards teaching players the very basics of RuneScape 3 bossing. This episode doesn't quite count as a full episode, as we'll be taking a very brief overview of how to defeat the Dagonoth Kings with extremely low stats. Buckle in, because this is gonna go by fast. The Dagonoth Kings are a set of three bosses in a single area. The biggest draws are the rings they drop, which currently have a massively inflated price due to the new bosses, the Rex Matriarchs, requiring the consumption of 20 of them for their own drops. The most radical price increase was with the Berserker Ring, dropped by Dagnoth Rex, which is now seeing prices of over 10 mil as of making this video. You're normally supposed to hybrid at all three of these bosses, but we're going to be focusing on just killing Rex here. At the very end, I'll do a brief look at how I would hybrid all three bosses, but it raises my recommended levels by quite a bit, so I'm focusing on it less. As always, the guide will be broken up into a few different parts, those being the recommendations and requirements, setting up your revolution bar, the important facts and mechanics of the fight, and then a full fight breakdown. For requirements, Dagnoth Kings have none, although I do believe you need to unlock Waterbirth Island to be able to get to them. I'm not 100% sure on that though, so let me know in the comments. For my recommendations, I'd recommend 66 Mage. Lower is definitely possible, but it's just a bit slower. And that's it! For my gear and supplies, 200k should about do it. For my setup, I'm using full Mystic. Obviously, if you can upgrade that, go ahead and do it, but you don't need strong armor. I'm using a Mystic Fire Staff because I'm cheap and wanted to save on the runes, but if you don't care too much, then take whatever staff you would like. You really don't need anything else, but some cheap upgrades would be an Amulet of Glory and either a Ring of Wealth or an Asylum Surgeon's Ring. In my inventory, I'm bringing Air Runes, and you'd bring Fire Runes if you are not using a Fire Staff. I'm bringing 100 nature runes for high elks and some magic note paper from treasure hunter so i can note the drops that they have i'm also bringing a super anti-poison and if you want to use prayer to speed up your kills bring some prayer potions as well other than that just bring a couple pieces of food for emergencies and you're good to go now looking at your revolution bar if you're unfamiliar with revolution it's a system in runescape that will automatically use your abilities for you from left to right to take advantage of that, we'll be putting our strongest abilities for this left, and weaving in our strongest threshold abilities which require 50% adrenaline. On screen is a suggested revolution bar from the PVM encyclopedia, and below is my version of the same bar with all the expensive or hard to get unlocks taken out. The optimal bar reads Dragon's Breath, Sunshine, Wild Magic, Sonic Wave, Corruption Blast, Asphyxiate, Combust, Tuska's Wrath, Impact, Rack, Deep Impact, and Detonate. And then outside the bar, they have Tsunami and Metamorphosis. For the, bar, for the bar I'll be using, it reads Dragon's Breath, Sonic Wave, Wild Magic, Asphyxiate, Combust, Chains, Impact, Rack, Deep Impact, and Metamorphosis. The reason I suggest 66 Magic is for the ability Metamorphosis. Rex is weak to fire spells, so transforming into a fire elemental is going to be a big plus for us. Looking at the mechanics, it's going to be pretty quick. For this to work, you'll need to start your own custom instance. If you don't know how instances work, check the description for a link that will teach you more about them. I'd recommend setting the boss speed to fastest. Once you start your own instance, head all the way to the east wall and wait here for the bosses to spawn. Rex is the big red one, and when he is close to you and has some distance on the other two, just tag him with an auto attack or an ability, and then wait for him to come over to you. Once he's in your face, run north and get him stuck on this big rock here, and then just start hitting him. This is a great time to practice activating your abilities manually and getting a feel for your hotkeys. The other two Dagonoth Kings will never aggro on you here, and once you get the kill, just run back to where you lured Rex the first time and wait for him to spawn. If you make a mistake and accidentally get the aggro of either of the other two kings, just teleport out. The kings are only weak to specific attack styles, so your mage will never kill either of them. But it's as simple as that. Now you can farm Rex for Berserker Rings and hopefully sell them for huge profit. Real quick before the end here, I'm going to go through a full kill of low level hybrid of all of the kings. I'd recommend 80 in all stats for this. The armor I'm using is called War Priest. Do slash wiki War Priest if you don't know what that armor is. For my weapons, I'm bringing a Bayonite two-handed sword, a royal crossbow, and an abyssal wand and orb. Make revolution bars for each of these combat styles, and then in settings, go to your action bar binding and choose the weapon style you're using, and then put the number of the action bar you have as the action bar preset. 
If done correctly, your revolution bar will switch depending on what weapons you have in your hands. In my inventory, I have air and fire runes, prayer potions, stat boosting potions, and food. Starting the fight, set the boss spawn rate to something low first. If you end up having time in between bosses, you can choose to up the respawn time, but don't get overwhelmed on your first attempts. Start the fight with Rex at the safe spot we just talked about. Once he goes down, swap to your royal crossbow and then hug the north wall while you tag Rex Prime. There are no mechanics here, it's just as simple as DPS them down as fast as you can. Once Prime goes down, equip your melee weapon and then tag Supreme. By the time Supreme goes down, it's likely that Rex will have respawned, so re-equip your mage weapon and get them back into the safe spot. Rinse and repeat like this around in a circle until you decide that you're done or until you need more supplies. That's all for this one guys, if you found it helpful, please consider leaving a like, and if you like more than one of my videos, please consider subscribing. I wasn't planning on doing a video like this, but I got such awesome feedback on my Araxor video, I figured I needed to do something for you all. At the time this goes up, I will be live streaming on Twitch. If you have any questions or want to take part in the shenanigans that go on over there, come check it out at twitch.tv slash zingy09. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Zingy out.